As today's adventure begins, the Duke of Bavaria is about to arrive in France. The Muskerhounds are scheduled to meet and escort him, but Monsieur de Blancbec plans to head off Dog Tanyon and arrive at the site first. Will the Muskerhounds ride into danger? Will the King's evil brother be victorious? Did the Muskerhounds say when they plan to arrive? They should get there at noon. Check. Excellent. By then we'll be there laying in wait. Those hounds won't know what hit them. I like the way you think, sir. Put all our men on alert. We'll be leaving at dawn, Bujo. Hmm. And this time, I won't fail. Oh, by the way, check and mate, Bujo. <gasps> Chess is quite obviously not your game. I know. How about croquet? I'll only use one hand. What do you say, Black Deck? Hmm? Sleepy puss, wake up, wake up, wake up! What do you think you're doing? Time's a wasting. Cock a doodle doo! Rise and shine, hot shot! You know the Duke's coming tomorrow and there's all kinds of plans to make. So shake a leg, pal, pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and start all over again. <laughs> something to attend to. <clears throat> the kid thinks he's going alone, does he? Hmm. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. You need a bodyguard. Me. What? There's all kinds of bad guys out there. I wouldn't want you to get hurt or nothing. Juliet, be back in a little while. It's clear you need a little help. Hmm. Monsieur Treville always knows what to do in situations like this. We're gonna go talk to him. Hey, D'Artagnan! I'll tell you what. While you two have a little powwow, I'll stand guard out front. <laughs> All right, Pip. I'll be back in a minute. Gee, I'm very 
very sorry to bother you, sir, but what I have to discuss is a matter of utmost import. <laughs> Nonsense. You're always welcome. We'll go outside and you'll tell me what's on your mind. Over there. Now, what's worrying you, son? While the Mosca Hounds were meeting at the inn in order to make plans, someone overheard us. I kind of think he was spying on us, sir, and that our enemies now know what we're up to. Hmm. And that would be very unfortunate. So tell me, did you recognize him? Gee, no, sir, but I think that Blanc Beck is surely involved in this in one way or another. You can count on it. And if so, that means our enemies could ambush us. I can't imagine anything worse. Yes, and don't forget, sir, the Duke of Bavaria is coming. What about him? If we don't do something, he'll be riding into a trap. Then you'll devise a new plan of attack, because we cannot just stand by and allow our enemies to simply take over and kidnap him. Sir Treville, I appreciate the faith you've got in me, and I assure you I'll come up with a clever strategy that'll completely foil our enemy. Mm -hmm. Well, whatever you decide, you have my approval. Have you any ideas how you're going to proceed? Well, a couple of things come to mind, Monsieur Treville. But I'd feel better if you'd come with me and talk them over with His Majesty. Hmm. An excellent suggestion, Doctor. He should be kept in form. All set. Let's be off. There's not a moment to spare. to serve your favorite soup. I'm sorry, Marie, but I've got to go sort out a matter that's really very important. The soup won't go to waste. I'll have it for supper. By the way, I hear you're a really good cook. But, uh, but... Yeah, you bet I am. Nobody around here seems to have the least appreciation. Goodness. <laughs> we might as well be serving scraps to cats. <laughs> My friends, be very quiet. Even the very slightest noise down here reverberates up above, and we don't want to be heard. Don't worry. I'll be quiet as a mouse. Hey, slow down, bucko. Where's the fire? <laughs> All right? All right. And just where does this passageway lead? It leads to His Majesty's office. Good. Monsieur Treville, I'm here to see His Majesty. Mm. Monsieur Treville, how did you find out about that secret passageway? When you've been in His Majesty's service for as many years as me, you eventually know this palace like the back of your paw, son. Mm. Now His Majesty deserves a bit of respect. I want you to behave yourself. What are you worried about? Have I ever once embarrassed you? <laughs> well, come to think of it, yes, you sure have, Pip. You can wait here. Hmm. Gee whiz, I guess I've been outvoted. Majesty? Your Majesty. Yes, gentlemen, and to what do I owe the honor of today's visit? Your Majesty, Dog Tanyon has every reason to suspect that your brother intends to interfere with tomorrow's plans. He believes the Duke is in danger of being kidnapped by that scoundrel Blancbeck. And tell me how you've come by this information, Dog Tanyon. Hey, Your Majesty? You see, the Mosca Hounds and I were at the Hogshead Inn recently, planning our next move. When a masked dog sitting at a nearby table seemed to be eavesdropping on us. And uh, did you discover this fellow's identity, son? No, I wasn't able to unmask him. Sir, you seem to know who I am. But who are you? And before I could catch up with him, he was gone. My, my. Well, gentlemen, this is certainly an interesting turn of events. I think we'll just have to change our plans.
How about a smile? Hey, pal, I'm not giving up. Call me an optimist, but I think you and I could be friends. Most people think I'm really adorable. You. Hmm. Who cares, you old flea bag? My friend here has a few ideas. My mind's open. Feel free to make your point. All right. Be glad to, Your Majesty. What if Richelieu's men were to be sent instead of the Muskahounds? And then I was thinking we could bring up the rear and follow right behind them. This way, if anyone should be bold enough to attempt to ambush them, we'd come out of hiding and surprise them all. How wonderful. Implement it right away. I'm sure it will work. Majesty, thank you for placing your trust in the Muskahounds. I wanted this meeting to be as private as possible, and I doubt that Blancbeck's spies would find his way out here in the woods. You're right. Discretion is the better part of valor. We've got to do what we can to protect His Majesty's honor and the future of France. We'll follow Richelieu's guards from a safe distance. The most important thing here is to not alert our enemies. We'll just lay low and wait for them to strike. And boy, when that happens, we'll jump out of hiding and surprise Blankbeck's henchmen. They won't even know what hit them. Ow. <laughs> All right, you mongrels. So far, nobody's even mentioned my name. What's going on? Where do I fit into your plan? <laughs> <laughs> Look who wants to fight! <laughs> Keep in mind, Pip, we're dealing with some dangerous men. Hey, Blancbeck's bad guys should be afraid of me. Aramis is right. We have no idea what we might be up against. Hey, I wouldn't worry about him just yet. This guy, Blancbeck, is only one foe among many. We'll handle him. Attaway, Dog Tanyon. Huh. We'll fight to the end. We'll make quick work of him. Uh-huh. Athos? Ready. Aramis? Yep. Orthos? Right. One for all and all, all for, for one. one. We'll meet tomorrow at the square. So I'll go ahead and follow Richelieu's guards. When I'm sure they've left Paris, I'll come back to the woods as soon as I can. Just stay here till I tell you to leave. The time had come for the king to put Dog Tanyon's scheme into motion. He drafted a letter to Cardinal Richelieu. It was a formal royal petition requesting that the Cardinal's guards replace the Muska Hounds as the official escort to the Duke of Bavaria. It stated that their services would be needed beginning at noon the next day. There, everything is ready. You will see to this right away. Certainly, Your Majesty. I'll see to it. The King's courier took the most direct route and arrived within the hour. I bring an important message for His Eminence, the Cardinal. Please, take care of it. One can tell by the royal seal it's from His Majesty. Very well. <clears throat> Get here! This looks to be a matter of great import. The king's courier delivered this just moments ago. Hmm. Fine, you may leave. Hmm. Missive from the king. How very interesting. Treville, I have beaten you. Wow, Sandy, wait till you see what I found. Here's your dessert. Some more hay. <laughs> yeah, the way, Sandy, eat all you want. You see, there's a really big day ahead, and I want you to be ready. What's the matter? <laughs> Stop it, all three of you! You're getting water to my ears! Come on, Dad! <laughs> it's raining! Huh? Papa? Hmm? Oh, 
yeah, I forgot. Pip's not supposed to have any fun around here. Well, excuse me for living. Don't look at me. It's not my fault your pop's got no sense of humor. Yes, Whittemore, you'll have the horses saddled and ready. You're leaving at dawn to escort the Duke of Bavaria. All right? <laughs> yes, yes. Don't worry. It'll be my pleasure. I finally have my opportunity to show up those muskhounds once and for all, Widomer. And if you should embarrass me this time as you have in the past, you may not live to regret it. So consider yourself warned, idiot. Hmm. Good morning, Your Grace. Good morning, Monsieur Treville. Please, you first. Perhaps congratulations are in order. I hear the King has awarded you the honor of escorting his esteemed guest. Yes, he has put his faith in me. Well, Your Eminence, I want you to know how happy I am for you, and I wish you a very safe trip. Your Grace. His Majesty has rejected those Muska hounds and picked us. What's going on? Forward and look sharp. It was early the next day, and Richelieu's men left Paris unaware that they were about to ride into the hands of Blancbeck's henchmen. And Dog Tanyon was right behind, ready to surprise them all. The prearranged time had arrived for the Muska hounds to gather, but as Athos, Aramis, and Porthos entered the square, their leader was nowhere to be found. It's good to see you're here on time. Yes, we are, but where is Dog Tanyon? What could have happened to him? Well, I don't know. Have you seen him? No. Gee, I hope nothing's wrong. He's usually on time. My friends, look, it's him! Oh! Glad you could join us. I came just as soon as I could. Richelieu's guards got an earlier start than I thought they would. In that case, we'd ought to get going, Dog Tanyon. Right, we'll go this way. Dog Tanyon, we've got to be really careful that Whitmer doesn't spot us. He'd be upset, and we sure don't want that, do we? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it couldn't be. What was that? What? I know. Hmm. Thought I heard something too. I've got a strange feeling about this man. Keep your wits about you and proceed with caution. Hmm. Stay there. Hmm. Huh? Now show yourself. Whoever you are. Come out, I say, but uh, I know you're in there. Sir? I could have sworn I heard something strange right behind me. Hmm. That's strange. I was expecting to see the Muska hounds today, not Richelieu's men. Hmm. Hold it. 
Hands up. Tell me who you are, sir. What you want with me? <laughs> Come here, tie him up. With pleasure, boss. Uh, <clears throat> don't tie me up. Wait, you don't know who I am. <sighs> Stay right there where we can keep an eye on you. Good work, men. And you, make sure the knots are secure. to surprise you like this. I know that you're all here today to meet someone of great honor and renown who deserves only the deepest regard. Well, no need for worry. I intend to take charge and relieve you this fine morning. I shall pay tribute to the visiting duke on behalf of King Louis. Now then, are we understood? But who are you? Sorry, but I must keep you in the dark just a little while longer. <laughs> Yet before long, you will all know who I am. <laughs> They're in your hands now, and be sure to keep them out of the way. Pay attention, men. You will exchange clothing with our new prisoners. All right, men? Cardinal's guards, that's what you are, understand? From this moment forward. Here The appointment would still be kept, but not by the escorters chosen by the king. Instead of the Cardinal's guards, Blancbeck's henchmen would meet the Duke of Bavaria. And as far as the Muska Hounds were concerned, another piece of the puzzle had fallen into place. In our next exciting episode, Blancbeck, disguised as his brother the King, receives the Duke of Bavaria, but insults him in order to ruin the chances of a peaceful alliance between France and Bavaria. Meanwhile, Pip drops in to join the Muska Hounds. Dogtanian rescues the Cardinal's guards and then rides to the border to investigate Blancbeck's progress. Once he discovers what's really taken place, our hero becomes determined to inform the king, thereby foiling the devious plan devised by Bujo and the king's evil twin brother. Join us.